When designing Red Dead Redemption's multiplayer experience, Rockstar set out to make it as engaging as the single-player campaign and reinvent the idea of open-world online gaming. The product of this ambition is Red Dead Redemption's Free Roam. While many multiplayer titles confine gameplay to a small single level, in Free Roam, the enormous single-player game world is open and available to explore. This is your game lobby. You can ride across the plains, encounter other players in gang hideouts, or join organized games and challenges. Players can go out on their own or band together to form posses. Comprised of up to eight people, your posse can explore separately or together. Take out other posses, fight criminals or the law, jump into a group activity, such as a traditional multiplayer deathmatch at any time, or maybe just go on a gentle hunt together. Scattered throughout the map are hunting areas where waves of animals will attack you and your posse members. Or you can explore the world and hunt elusive animals. When a leader forms a posse, they can set waypoints for the gang to head to. If they jump into a skirmish, the posse can join in the fray. Several posses can fight at once, with up to 16 players battling it out wherever and however they choose. While playing free roam, posses can also attack gang hideouts, which are multi-part team-based challenges, or become an outlaw and evade law enforcement. Completing these kinds of challenges gives the player experience points. There are 50 levels in free roam, and the experience points meter tracks your progression. With experience, you will level up and unlock better weapons and mounts, new characters, titles, and challenges. From riding across the plains with a posse to attack a town full of outlaws, or going solo to take down targets, the free roam in Red Dead Redemption is attempting to change the concept of multiplayer in open world games. But free roam is just one aspect of Red Dead Redemption's multiplayer. Should you choose, there are more structured competitive modes we'll reveal soon.